All right, Salim Rezaia again, and one last video on DKA. And this is gonna be a bit of a rant. So once the pH is less than 7.1, give bicarbonate in DKA. So we all remember this Henderson-Hasselbach equation, and I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but imagine a patient who's Kuzmal breathing, trying to blow off all the CO2 that they can to help with their acidosis. Now we're going to give them a bunch of bicarbonate therapy, which is going to shift this over to the right side of the equation, increasing CO2 and making acidosis worse. Now, that's at least my thoughts in theory. Is there evidence to support that? There was a 2011 systematic review with 44 trials and 400 patients, and they took patients with DKA and they compared bicarb versus no bicarb. And here's what they ended up finding. There was a transient improvement in metabolic acidosis up to two hours, and then resolution back to the baseline value that they were at. There was increased hypokalemia because bicarbonate therapy is one of the treatments for hyperkalemia. And unfortunately, there was no studies with a pH of less than 6.85. So I can't really make any comments on those severely acidotic patients. Luckily, there's a 2013 retrospective study with 86 patients, also looking at patients with DKA comparing bicarb to no bicarb. Now you might say, why are we talking about a retrospective study with 86 patients? Because it turns out this is the largest study on this topic. And here's what they found. No improvement in metabolic acidosis whatsoever, no difference on time on insulin, and no difference to time to hospital discharge. 25% of the patients in this study ended up having pHs of less than 6.85. So the fact is, bicarbonate therapy makes numbers look better transiently, makes us feel better, but it doesn't improve the pathology, the disease process, and potentially can be more harmful for our patients. I am not using bicarbonate therapy in my DKA patients. Would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.